do. What is up, everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Uh, this storm hit hard, no snow. Strictly just torrential downpour. Uh, I guess the rainy season's just coming a little bit early this year, but we still have a lot to do today, even in the rain. Um, we thought we were gonna fail on getting the money to the lady for the flea market this weekend, but we're dropping it off at her house, hand delivered uh, right now. So it's $25 for a eight foot table indoor flea market. Um, and last time we made about profit of like a hundred or over, and it's about five miles, three miles I would say from our house. We gotta do that. We gotta drop off all the brush that's in the back of this truck at the dump, because they take it for however much you have for $8. Uh, flat rate and then we are going to head to Margate from there Pick up scrap for my boy Eric. I don't know if he's working today, but he left it out there on Mansfield Avenue for me go back to the house and Load up the rest of the scrap if conditions are permitting Go to the scrapyard um, I think that's all we have to do today, but we just got pictures from our boy of another foreclosure property uh, that he wants us to bid from the pictures. If not, we're going to go over there and check it out. Uh, there's supposedly a truck and a boat that have to go too along with it, so really good day. Starting off, uh, starting off, uh, off this whole month with a bang here, so for the dream. And I remember staring at the ceiling trying to deal with emotions and no one feelings for All I wanted was a picture on my All right, pulling into the dump now. We have yard waste, but there's a full-blown um, ice storm going on. Like, chunks of ice. Total insanity, and I don't even have a pen to fill this thing out with. Dude, this is heavy out here, boys. <laughs> You're gonna get fully stuck in here. It's like a river. No, I'm just gonna back up to this dream right here. These guys are working in the full blizzard though, dude. This is mayhem, boys, mayhem. <laughs> Total mayhem, boys. So we dumped the stuff, went back to the house because I thought I forgot the light, but really it was in the car the whole time. I ended up changing my pants, everything actually, my hat, shirt, everything because I was soaking wet. Um, it's supposed to turn to snow at 1, but I don't know if that's going to happen. It's 12.45, but we're going to bid uh, foreclosure in North Cape May. Um, he wanted me to do it over a couple pictures, which I... I would do because I totally trust his judgment too. If he just threw a number, I'd take it if I was like out of state. But why not go there, evaluate the situation? Because um, a lot of stuff in your head gets working when you see it in person. But there's a, a truck and a boat. It looks like a Ford Explorer. Not sure the year, not sure the tires, not sure the key, not sure the title. But we're gonna try and figure out any of that stuff could determine the difference between $500, really. And then the boat, if it's on a trailer, if it's the trailer's wheels are flat, if they're pump-upable, if we could take the boat and put it on a different trailer, or if it's just insanely big and we're going to have to chop it up. And then the inside of the house is like a hoarder paradise, it looks like. 
but yeah, just follow us. Me and Sammy, Sammy J, the goddess, are going there right now. We're gonna bid it. So I'll just kind of try and explain different aspects of how I bid jobs because it doesn't only have to do with cubic yards, like the standard. Um, it has to do with, I would want to say, like close to a hundred different factors when I think about jobs. Uh, scrap, keep life, sellable stuff, how dirty it is, contaminants, what supplies you need, if you need a trailer, which you usually always do, how far the dump is, um, if you can even dump in that county, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, it, even if you don't even need a dump, sometimes if you can put the trash out to the street, I don't know, I've done that before. Um, if the car can drive, if it has a title, if there is a car, if there's a boat, if there's, if they come and get the boat before the job is even solidified. If the boat's the neighbor's boat and they're just storing it there because the house has been vacant for so long, that's happened before. Um, I don't know if someone's living in the house. Obviously, I'm not an eviction guy, but there's thousands of different ways to look at every situation. So, that's the claim anyway. All right, we just pulled up to the house. What's it looking like, girl? It's looking like that's a nice car. The boat's no problem. It's itty bitty. The boat's keep life. The Explorer's nice. It doesn't look like the tires are like rotted out or anything. But it's right when we pulled up, the screen door like flew open, so that's creepy, but whatever. Let's go. Hello? All right, so the door was wide open, which is just crazy. The door was just wide open. Mm -hmm. Door was just wide open. Is it? Yes. That's not good. No, it is not. That picture is cool though. This is a heavy job though, dude. Heavy job, right? Yeah. Hello? Very cool to shit in here though. Wonder if one of those keys is for that car. Probably the car keys in here somewhere. Cool lamp, cool radio, armoires, sellable. There's a cool chair. Cool painting. Mostly the majority of all this shit is flea market life. And someone just threw fucking paint against the wall, I guess. They were mad about something. Sell, sell. Amazing. Complete and utter amazement. Sell. I don't know what's up with that computer. Scrap life, though, I guess. This is true vintage clothing. If you know what I'm claiming. Lamp is vintage, too. Chip. What a name. Everything's vintage in here, though. Like, mainly the mattresses and some shit like that computer because no one would ever want that. Look at that little Indian headdress. Babe. I saw it. Weird, right? Mm. This is an easy job. That toilet is gnarly, boys. What's some light in here? This is a problem in here. Dude, 
This is so Bobcat style. The keep life in here is pretty heavy though. Yeah, well he was old. Look at the cobwebs on here, dude. Obviously there was someone involved some at some point. These fake keys are just so glorious though, dude. This thing is totally epic. This cast iron piece right here. Why does it say sheriff's sale? Because it was. Grab this. That's my baby. Oh, he happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know. We got some hand-painted Limoges in here. Did I? Yeah, but it's so dirty. I don't know if it's hand-painted, though. No, it's not. This is so gross in here. You'd be a tip. You'd be a total savage. Oh my gosh, this guy loved pizza, boys, though. Woo! Couple slicers still left in the fridge. Woo! This guy's a bobcat, boys. Total bobcat. This guy was living the American nightmare. Yard's huge, no shed. Oh, there's a shed. Great. This is a gnarly job, boys. I gotta go in the attic just to see it. Can you shoot pictures with your phone of everything? Or just like 10 pictures? Do you wanna grab this basket? Oh, these are everything. That laundry basket? For you? Yeah. And put stuff in it? Dump it out, right? Yeah. Alright, this was down. Ooh. Foul. Just just beyond foul. This is where you find like the craziest shit ever. Dude, it's fucking stacked full up here though, dude. Of insane shit. I know, it's not that bad. I guess he couldn't get very far. So he just put shit where... There's a lot, there's a, a good amount up here though, like... 500 pounds of shit. Trash. What's up with this powder? It's like, that's really cool. This powder is just weird. Antiques and Collectibles Price Guide. Wow. This guy did have a lot of good antiques, though. Not gonna lie. It's weird in here. Vineland Senior High School, 1969. So he wasn't that old. And he was a gnarly helicopter pilot. Guard. That makes sense. These are um, Coast Guard barracks. What is? Barracks. Like, uh, these were built for the Army, These all these houses in this whole neighborhood. You can tell. Oh, uh, so he's probably just here? Yeah. This guy's got so much stuff, it's insane. So the camera died. I had an extra battery earlier in the pants that got soaked. Left it at the house. But uh, it's funny, we found a Norman Rockwell painting in here. Not the original, obviously, but we have all those Norman Rockwell other paintings. There's stuff all over, trash all over. Um, it was an older gentleman, we believe, uh, just from looking at, like, First of all, his style, you know, like this kind of stuff, the toilet seat top. 
and the way the house just decayed around them. Uh, there wasn't really anyone, I guess, to take good care of them. Um, he had some kind of a nephew or son that lived here, we're thinking, because of the age of some of the items, uh, Xbox games and paintball gear that would date into like the early to 2000s. Um, there's a lot of trash in here, but some cool, really cool antiques, paintings, furniture. Uh, going outside now, Sammy's just in there picking, just looking to see if there's anything of value so we can bid the job lower. But there is this car that has to go to, which is a Ford Expedition. It's actually a really nice car. And there is this little black Betty boat which doesn't add any money to the dream because it's actually a dream in itself. It just might cost a bit to get the tires and everything um, pumped up and get this thing on the road. But uh, that isn't gonna be a problem. The tires aren't totally dry rotted on the car. Uh, the car is locked, so we'd have to break into the car and somehow hot wire the car if, in fact, um, we couldn't find the key. So, we will see. It's open, actually. My voice might be like monotone and kind of brutal. Um, but it would be nice to see if there was actually a key in here got some kind of a VCR in there. I'm gonna put the camera in the car and here's the key. Is this the key? No. Wow that would be cool if it was. You're not gonna believe this story. Right. So this guy was a recluse the neighbor said. What's that? Died in the house huh. and it was three weeks before they called the police. So he's in here. Spirit wise. Okay dude I'm out of here. This is gnarly in here. I knew it was heavy, but I didn't know it was that heavy. Three weeks? Well, who the fuck was living here? No one. He was 63. Doesn't smell like a dead body. No, I mean, they got him. But three, three weeks of rot. It's been two years since he was in here. But, wow, it's just gnarly in here. It's a, a recluse. That's what she said, yeah. She said, uh, half the... Half the Houses on this block are repoed uh, foreclosures. She called it repoed, but it's a foreclosure. Ugh. All right, so we got a lazy boy chair. This little piece right here. Ooh, ooh, you're hitting me with shit here now. Like stuff I didn't see before. <laughs> Woo! That's all scrap though, pretty much. We're going in the shed though now, boys. Kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. Oh my god. You're fucking kidding. No way. No. No. There's no fucking way. Oh my glory, glory in the highest. Yeah, you gotta check this out, brother. <laughs> yeah, babe, you gotta check this out, brother. <laughs> Come back here and just tell me how glorious this is. We could do this job for free and still make out. Just watch. Just look at the shed for a minute. Tell me what we're working with right now, boys. There's a fucking Harley Davidson in the fucking shed. Oh, the dreamer. <laughs> Babe, the dream. Did you just see the dream happen in real life? And this toolbox? No. And the helmet? DOT? Oh, shit. 
Someone's gonna do it for free if we don't do it. This is worth twenty thousand dollars. Alright, so we'll do it for two hundred. Right? I don't know I don't know. But yeah, I want to do it. Yeah. I don't know, but like if we do if we do a cheap enough price. People in life forever, but there is a Harley Davidson motorcycle in the shed. Repo time, boys. In parts alone, this thing's worth a mint. I thought this was gonna be full of shit. I didn't even want to look in the shed. style of bike is this guys I don't know anything about this kind of stuff all right we started driving back and just as a winter wonderland out here <laughs> <laughs> it's a winter wonderland out here what the hell was that dude what is that What's it's that a winter that? wonderland out here Either way, it's, it's <laughs> two, accident, like two accidents already on a 20 mile stretch of road, and these buses are passing us like we're, you know, we're going too slow for their liking. Someone's gonna die in this. Yeah. Like this is no joke out here. It just snowed three inches in like these an hour. Think they can drive that guy's in a little tiny VW and he's going like 60 in this. On here? Okay, I gotta cross. Okay. Sammy J got a present. Got presents. Why do you get so many presents? I don't know. Let's see what it is. Oh man. <laughs> How do you open it? You cut it. Wrapping paper is epic. Like that. It's so cool. It's like a present wrapping paper. To Sammy J from Seth Seagal and Seagal. 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 What? Like Steven Seagal. Same thing. Is it or no? In Austin, Texas. His birthday was the 7th. Really? Which is... Today. Right? Yep. I gotta wish him a happy birthday. Kinkies! This is the card. From all of us, for your birthday, we were going to make you a cake from scratch. They were. Oh. Dearest... Sammy J, here is your birthday present. Now you have a nice oversized nightshirt to sleep in. I didn't look at it. <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> yes! Wait, did he send this, the original package? Or is huh? it just the same thing? Did he? Is he the one who sent that? I, now I'm confused. This shirt is so cool! It looks like Nana. It looks like Nana. Remember when Nana was looking at himself? I will be wearing this like every night to bed now. Thank you. Nana. I'll read the rest. Now I've been that awesome shirt to sleep in with the awesome Prince Nana Lolo Loster on it. 
to match the poster that Turner received from your other subscriber, so it wasn't from him. So he just took the picture, right? Just ordered it online, I guess, so or found it somewhere. I, don't I want know. to thank you because since you have been in Turner's life, I can see it's been so fulfilled and happy that his art and his art and video show it, and his determination to work so hard in order to provide for you is totally heartwarming. I couldn't read that for a second. The bumper stickers and gift cards are for Turner to take you out for a nice dinner for a belated extended birthday. Wow. That's a lot of money. For Cracker Barrel. Do you remember we went there? Yeah. Did they know that? Did you know that? Obviously. They did, right? When you were Had making to. a mockery out of me yep, on no, Snapchat. It's big. it's big on, um, in Texas, I guess, right? It's big everywhere. Just not here. We're, we're There's from. one in Delaware. But on the way to Florida, we can go. Right? Me? Yeah. Dude, there's probably one around here. We just don't know it. Dude, open that sticker, though. I know what it says already. Oh, shit. It's an Infowars. It says, end the Fed. These are awesome. The rest of them. my car. <laughs> You're going to have a Ford Explorer in a couple minutes. <laughs> and a Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Ford Explorer, okay? I loved that car. Do you realize how epic that sticker is, though? Yes, are you kidding me? Thank you. I love these gifts. These are the best. I wish we had a Cracker Barrel fucking down the street. I go to it right now, but it's blizzarding out. The Wizard of Waverly Place. The Wizards of Blizzards is outside. The Blizzard of Oz. You ever seen that one? No, dude. <laughs> dude, this is so crazy outside right now. We thought we were going to go somewhere. I don't even know why you guys... If you guys can see what's going on, but like the snowflakes are like six inches in diameter. And it's only been snowing for like two hours and it's this much lay. Bobcat style. Ugh. This one. Are we filming? Yep. Sorry. Alright, we. Alright, we just went to my mom's house, so I don't think we filmed anything there. Um, but. We got this message from Eric a couple days ago, actually at this point, like two days ago, that there's scrap at one of his job sites here in Margate. Um, hopefully it's still there. If not, thank you anyway. Um, but we're going there now to check it out. I don't think they work today, but I could be wrong because they're gnarly and they pretty much no days off type situation. But yeah, we're going to the scrapyard tomorrow morning um, or tomorrow afternoon or whatever tomorrow when we get everything loaded up so we might as well get what we can from here and then put everything we can from the house on top of it but that's the claim <laughs>